tough few weeks, a tough few months for a lot of us out here not being able to see the ones we love, especially senior citizens, those older adults in our lives that are being most affected by the coronavirus. So as they stay indoors and we practice social distancing, there are still ways to stay connected. Spray paint and posters. Yeah, That's what Susan mom. Highsmith Graveline used to tell her mom how much she loves her. Susan's mom, Miss Pat Vanette, lives at the mansions at Sandy Springs, a senior living community in Peachtree Corners. Since Susan can't go inside, she stood outside, dogs and posters in tow for her mom to see. A gesture like this, University of Georgia's Kirstein Emerson says, is exactly what we all should be doing. A lot of older adults weren't lonely to begin with. They were going out and going to club meetings and the gym and the library, but now they can't do that anymore. So social distancing is making people who may not have been lonely in the beginning possibly more lonely now. Emerson has been studying loneliness in older adults for years. She says there's no specific science to loneliness, but rather life experiences that can make us that way. Widowhood, long retirement, maybe moving, health issues. Lots of things that can be precursors or risk factors for loneliness. But now with social distancing, seniors may feel even more alienated. That's why Emerson says it's important we all get back to the basics to show just how much we care. A good old-fashioned telephone call will really work. Or even writing letters, drawing art, sending it to people. So my son is six and he's learning writing. And we have been practicing his penmanship by writing letters to older adults. According to the CDC, adults 65 and older make up 80% of the coronavirus-related deaths here in the United States. So it's very important that we practice social distancing to keep them safe, but also just to make sure that they know we still care. That's the latest here in Alpharetta. I'm Natalie Fultz, Fox 5 News.